This seems to be a reoccurring theme in my videos lately. It seems like every time we hit a province, we make one video. Or is it two videos? One? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. But it seems like every time we hit somewhere, it's just we're in and we're out. And you know what that means? It's another video that means we in another province. Welcome to Manitoba. Funny thing is, I don't ever remember seeing this sign any other time on my travels because all the stickers and stuff that are around here and all on the back, none of them were mine. None. That means that technically if there's no sticker where other people put stickers, then technically was, was I even there? <laughs> so uh, I'm excited for our day today. Welcome to Manitoba. this up with tap water yesterday and it smelled so bad like chlorine and while I'm here at the car wash they actually have a purified water fill up station so let's go do that purified drinking water hopefully it won't taste as bad as the tap water we used the other day that sucked We have used every part of this facility, the wash bay, the vending machine, <laughs> the toilet, and the water fill up station. This was a good stop. That way is Winnipeg. We are bypassing Winnipeg. Hi Winnipeg, bye Winnipeg. You guys see that over there? Right over there. You guys see something that we haven't seen in a while? <laughs> yeah, those are trees. Natural growing trees, and they're all over the place. It's all I can see right now is trees. And that's a pretty nice thing to see, especially after driving through the prairies for days and days and days. Because when you're out in the prairies, the only trees that you see are actually planted around people's homes or at parks. Otherwise, it's just pretty much flat grasslands and wheat. Just fields of wheat and hay and yeah. So we're getting close to Ontario. We have picked up the pace quite a bit over the last few days because our timeline to get to Ontario, well, middle of Ontario, um, has sped up by two weeks. So I originally planned to be out there for September 1st, but apparently Happy Camper Kids has a project at his shop that I really want to stop and film. So, uh, Timeline has been boosted. Now we got two weeks less time to travel, which means we got more driving days to get there. So you know what that means? <laughs> Pedal to the metal, baby! Yeah, let's go! Woo um, the traffic signs just started to change. Those look different. I haven't seen a sign that looks like that one yet. I think we just crossed into Ontario. I think, I think we did. Where's the big welcome to Ontario sign? Every time you hit a new province, it always says, bada boom. There we are, baby. Welcome to Ontario, Canada, the land of 250,000 lakes. The first time I was out here, I was like, this is insane. This is crazy. There's so many lakes out here that there's lakes with no names. You see, in the province where I'm from in BC, if there's a lake, there's a name, there's a park surrounding that lake. Like an actual named provincial park. We don't got little baby lakes. This place out here has 250,000 of them. I, I can't believe you just so you have, you have lakes out here with no names. That's crazy for me. But, <laughs> super excited. All right. Now what are we doing, man? This has been this has been an odd video because it's been literally driving. Boom. I, I think this video started we were at Manitoba. Boom, now we're in Ontario. Now what? What's next? Who knows? Anyway, we uh the van's looking good. So just to give you guys a little tiny bit of a an update on what has actually happened in real life during filming this video, I stopped in a small town 
in Manitoba for the night last night. We spent the whole day yesterday and last night at our friend Ed's place. We got some time to relax. We had a few beers, cruise around around the yard. It was pretty great. And then Ed took me out for breakfast this morning, piled me up with more food than I could handle. I only ate half my breakfast because it was way too big. The lady brings this plate. It must have been 10 pounds of damn food. I'm like, that's the biggest omelet I've ever seen, ma'am. <laughs> I should have told her. It was crazy. I took half of it to go. So now me and Cruz have lunch, probably dinner and maybe breakfast tomorrow. It was that big. Anyway, guys. I'm ready for this one, baby. We're on our way to Happy Camper Kits. And we're hoping to be there within the next six days. Six. Let's go. We got another few more hours of driving before we're allowed to stop today and rest up for the night. Making a little pit stop here in Kenora. Super cute. Maybe we'll come back here and film here when we got more time on the way back. A little coffee stop. Hey, can I yeah, can I have a large dark rose, two sugar, one cream? That's all. And a 10 pack of assorted Timbits. Okay, that's, all. that's it. Thank you. Taking a little driving break came across one of these 250,000 lakes. Unbelievable. This province here is loaded with just pure gems and beauties like this. All right, I'm actually gonna go have a nap right now. Can we have a nap? Yeah. Oh, look at him. Hey buddy, you can stay in here. We're gonna have a nap, okay? Nap. Got my phone hotspot turned on. Just gonna connect it here to my laptop. Boom, we are connected. Now we need to upload a video. I just finished editing a video after our nap. Not very often I upload from my cell phone, but when you're way out here, whatever gets the job done. Ay, 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 ay. What do we got here? Ooh. Nice little spot. Oh, that's a nice not bad, not bad. Came down the highway and I seen this little tiny road. We went whipping by it. There was so many cars behind me I couldn't slow down. Ah, tuck my van way back there in the corner. It's at a bit of an angle, but hey, what do you do? These are the little spots you gotta watch out for. When you're coming down the highway like this and you see this little boom as you whip by, that's where you turn around and go back. Because we found ourselves a little piece of paradise. Sometimes it really feels like I lose control. Honestly, I can't even find my hole. Cause when you see light, I tend to fade. But city lights in your space. And I don't think I'm ever gonna get it. Van projects never seem to stop. So now that we've got, we need some more of these. Another screw one. These are just the little snap button things here. So we need a few of these. And a screwdriver. So this curtain that we put up here that we've tied up, this goes into the regular snaps that we used to use for snapping in the curtains. But now, if I want to keep this in place while the bug screens are up, I'm just going to drive myself another screw beside all of these, another one of these, that way I can keep them both up 
at the same time. Yeah. Normally I would do this with a power one, but I don't feel like pulling all the boxes in and out from underneath my bed. These little black flies out here are vicious. So my curtains on the inside snaps and the outside snaps here are for my uh, bug screen. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Just perfect. Ugh. And this one is right up in that little, little area there. Get it in there. There we go. So I'm going to guess for a little while these screens are going to be up. Boom. Look how nice that looks. Keeping the bugs out of the house while letting some fresh air in. Hell yeah. There has been a ton of black flies out here that are biting like crazy. I got crew sprayed down with uh, some repellent stuff to keep the bugs off of him because they've been getting him really bad. Sometimes it looks like a cow with all the stuff flying around him, all the flies. And uh, yeah, the house is all good. Oh. I giggle sometimes on how those van projects just never seem to stop. Always something every day, pulling out a screwdriver of some kind. It's gonna be nice tonight when all that traffic stops driving on that highway. Wow. This video upload has been taking forever. Still says one hour and 36 minutes. Mind you, we're only holding on to two bars of cell reception and uh, so yeah, a lot of the project. Sorry guys, it's a little loud. 